interview on 6 1 with Mr. George and Emma Puskarich. Well, I'll start with a couple of basic questions just about your residence. And how many years have you lived here? Ten. And do you rent or are you the landowner here? Landowner. And what's your occupation here? Farmer, and I work in a federal kitchen. Is it dairy farming or uh, cattle? Cattle, beef. Beef. Beef cattle? Do you have any children? Two boys. Two boys? Uh, what are their ages? 25 and 26. So did you live in the area before you moved to this residence? Yeah, we uh, had a farm in um, Deans Park, too, mm-hmm. before we came here. About four miles away. Oh, okay. And do you have family in the area? Yeah, his mother and dad is from Scenery Hill, but they passed away. Oh, okay. So born and bred in Scenery Hill, though? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get into your story about the gas drilling now. When were you first introduced to natural gas drilling? When did the natural gas first come to your area? And how were you introduced? When did we sign that contract? So you should have knew that. I can get it. No, 2007. What's this year? 2010. Yeah, okay, 2007, I think. 2006. Yeah, I think it was They came in and asked us if we wanted gas, and, you know, good. They were, they were drilling all around us. And uh, yeah. this Penico just pulled up one day and said, hey, we want to talk about our gas well. Penico was his name. Wasn't that Penico first year? And we said, sure. We didn't think we owned the gas rights. But then he checked on it, and he says, yeah, if you're Emma and you're George, then you own the gas rights. They said, okay, well, then. So then they started talking about the price, and they were supposed to put eight wells on. Eight. Ten. Ten. Eight ten, to ten, whatever it was. Eight to ten. And they... Um, we, we gave them a year lease, and uh, we got uh, $10 an acre, and they drilled it. And so they, they just showed up. Then they said they couldn't drill no other. I said, any deep wells or anything? They said, no, just the surface, you know, this. But now they can drill the deep well without you even okaying it. So is this well that you have now? Is it a shallow well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And do you know if they have any other plans to drill any other wells? or? Yes, the deep one. They, the guy came here from Range. It was supposed to be about a year ago. The, right, they were supposed to have it started in January. The guy came, it was three months before January. And he came and sat right where you are and said that we're looking at uh, 30000 a month. And they even paid it, then they took it out. They said the mine stopped. Is it the same well, or is it a different well? It's different site. Another one up. Yeah. Side. It was They're going the, in the deep well. It was yeah, the, the, shell. the one that was supposed to go down and out. Mm-hmm. So the Marshall show? Yes, not that mm-hmm. shallow one. Mm-hmm. But somehow they got the lease from Penico because Penico has the lease now. Mm-hmm. But Penico never, this, I don't know how they could even have this lease because it's not the same kind of operation. It's a totally different operation. Mm-hmm. So they shouldn't be able to sub it out, but they did. Mm-hmm. And Penico sold it to Ranch Resources yeah. then? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure they got much more money than $10 an acre. They ripped us off. That's what they did. Because ignorance is bliss, you know. Not in this case. No. Did they warn you that they were selling the lease? No. 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 One time Range showed up and said they bought the lease mm-hmm. and they marked the well site yeah. where it was going to go and that was about it. Mm-hmm. They never told us that. Because in our contract it says that we have a right to tell them to okay the site. When you were first thinking about leasing your property, did you talk to your neighbors? Did your neighbors have anything good or anything bad to say about leasing the gas rates? Nobody wanted to talk about it. It was all top secret. Yeah. The neighbor on the hill, he didn't, you know, he didn't want me to know they was drilling. Uh-huh. So they promised him a bunch of sites, and he didn't want to. So they come in, they promise you the world, and then they give you nothing. Yeah. That's what, so what it is. They take advantage of it. That, I guess, really stupid. Did either of you feel pressured to not talk to your neighbors after you had your uh, contract, if you, after you had signed the contract? Were you ever pressured not to talk to your neighbors, not to talk to anybody else about it? Or is it just a very personal thing? It's your own property. Around here, everybody's like, like to hide. Nobody likes to tell anybody or anything. should have told us that he was drilling, and the neighbors should have knew about it, but nobody told anybody because they didn't want nobody to know anything. Mm-hmm. Like, secret. 
so. Well, you have to understand, too, they made it look so good. Everybody thought that there was a pot of gold now. They're coming in you know, with ten, to eight to ten wells. I even said we could retire. And, they had the papers know, all down. marked off yeah. right after each other. And you know, they put on a good show. They came in, what, one month before the lease was up. Mm -hmm. It was in Utopia, was you know. They were giving us. Mm -hmm. so, but it didn't happen. They lied. I was curious if uh, Range Resources had come back and told you anything about their plans and what they are planning to do and if they are still planning to put the well in. Yeah, we got another contact from one of their... Um, first they had a woman come out, then this time they had a man come out. We had to uh, sign some papers again to... Where the road was going to go. Where the road was going to go, like a field guy, and we're still waiting though. But they have contacted us again not too long ago. Oh, but about a year. No, but it was when last summer out, long Was it when he came out? Yeah, we're still waiting. But he's, it's still just supposed to be in the workings. <laughs> and now, you can't even shut them down, I don't think. Because it's out of our control. We can't keep them from coming now. <laughs> I know we've gotten into this a little bit. You talk about um, some of the problems you experienced when they were building the wells and as the wells were finished. Yeah, when he was coming through, they caved the barns in, two barns, 180 foot long, yeah. an 80 foot barn, because they went too close to the walls. There was a road there. They didn't have to put all that shower rock in, but the owner had, that had the trucks, he said, we get paid by the foot. The more we put down, the more we get paid. So that's when they put all the shower rock all the way down along there. Then they ended up caving the barns in, because they used a, a roller, one of them vibrator rollers, and Ran around with barns and gave them in. So the shale was to reinforce the road? Yeah, for them to come through, but it was black top, chipped. It was a foot and a half of a red dog, two foot. They didn't have to do it. Mm -hmm. But like the guy said, they, they didn't pay by the foot. You know, the contractor, so. They got the shell rock off the well site, foot down there. They put up his poor fencing, because we have cattle. Mm -hmm. It fell apart. They messed up my sign thing down there. Oh. They broke it. Then they clogged up our septic out here, our runoff, and it flooded our basement. They did not, they did it. We had no fight and argue. And then the we, basement had they like did pay to have it. it. Then after that, they agreed that they did it because they came through with the line and clogged it up, backed it all up in the house. They, fin they said about to clean it, but see all the stuff down the pond, <laughs> all the furniture, everything that, from the basement stacked it down was there. That, but anyway, that's all they do is industrial. And, you know, I have all these papers and all these pictures and all this crap, you know, but, you know, I'm just to the point where we're just so tired of it. You know, we just had to give up fighting because we just, it was not healthy. Constantly, I would come home from work and he'd be hollering to try to get down here. He was a field man, never could get a hold of him because he let these kids run in these heavy equipment. You know, people didn't even know what the heck they were doing. From the uh, DEB? No, no, he's, he's from, from Penica. Penica. Oh, he's our manager. field guy, field manager. He's supposed to be overseeing all the operations, make sure everything's being done right because they subbed out too. You know, everything gets subbed out to somebody else, but nobody wants to take accountable for what it is, what happens. Then we called the DEP whenever the ground was all flushed out, everything died. Everything, all the grass died, the trees died, everything died. The cows were dying. When did the trees start dying? When did the cows start dying? And what do you attribute that to? I contributed no, to frack. frack the frack, breaking the liners open, bringing it on the ground. They went into the pond, they they uh, they did it right there, ran all the way down to the pond, and our cows drink that water. Can you explain the process of how they released the frack pond? and? Um, well, they cut the liner. They just dug underneath it and drank, dropped it in down and let the uh, water flow out. They were supposed to be hauling it out. Then I heard they were supposed to bring fresh water in, they was bringing it off a of rookie's farm to frack off their site and reusing it over here. Then they would take it from here, if they took any, they'd take it to the next site, and you're not allowed to do that. You know what I mean? But it's all contaminated. So they did pump some of it out of the pond, and everything that was left over in the, in the frack pond is what was released? Yes. I've seen them take some off, but they didn't, they didn't overdo themselves. You can see where the ground's dead on two sites, two different farms. Yeah, they fenced them off, and you know they're contaminated because they wouldn't do it. The only reason why they did is because we talked to the They came out, fenced it off once, then they took it out. The grass grew a little bit, and then it all died. And then the EP came out and said they was going to, they said a bird couldn't 
lick off that ground or eat off the ground. We had to test it already. DEP did too. Yeah, the DEP yeah. tested it. So. And it came back, they just wanted to dig it down or whatever. And they were supposed to dig it down. The most they dug down was one inch, two inches. Mm -hmm. They put topsoil in. They brought cow manure and then they, you know, got caught and then they brought topsoil in. Mm -hmm. So they brought cow manure in in place of topsoil? Yes. To fill in where they dug out all the contaminated uh, yes. topsoil? Right. And all they did was skim the, the one layer. They dug about an inch, inch and a half off the top. The EP was here and proved it. Yeah. You know, they said it was okay. Mm -hmm. Because they were supposed to make sure they dug it down if it was 10 foot deep. He just wouldn't dig it out 10 foot. But he got Next fired. Next thing you know, it doesn't work for him anymore. He got moved or canceled or...